Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you fringe Native American style earrings. They are really beautiful and they're as well easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release absolutely free videos two times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook or on my Instagram pages that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to my second channel where I post fast clips of most of my videos and uh, you will see the whole project in just two three minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not. So if you want go on my second channel check it out and subscribe there. Okay so now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11-0 Delica beads. These are really beautiful, really even cylindric shape beads. And here I'm using two colors of bugle beads. If you don't have bugle beads, you could skip them and use seed beads uh, instead of bugles. Uh, like for example, you could put four or five red beads here and uh, this will be like one bugle bead. This is in case if you don't have them. And you could uh, use regular round beads and tell me how it works with them uh, if you don't have delica beads. Okay, here are earring findings. I want to use black color. You could use silver or other color you like. And uh, this is size D thread which is 0.2 millimeters. This is nylon thread. Uh, the brand is Nemo. Here I use size 11 beading needle. You could use size 10 or size 12. This size 11 is a tulip beading needle that I'll link down there in description with a starter kit for new beaders uh, that I presented in my previous videos and you could see uh, the link for it down there. Okay, and you could use regular scissors, but here I use these cutters to cut closer to my work. And what else I'm using is this pattern for brick stitch and I'll show you in, in a while how I'm using it. And don't worry if you're a beginner, I will show everything really slowly and easy and you will be able to do this. Okay guys, and now I put about half an arm span of thread on my needle and later I will add more thread to my work. Okay, so now guys, uh, what I want to do is follow this pattern and if you're not familiar with the brick stitch, don't worry. By the way, you will see this pattern here at this corner. Uh, here the colors are not absolutely the same. I will put black instead of the blue here and silver here in the center of the flowers. But overall, this is the pattern that I'm gonna be following. And you will see the real col colors here at the corner. And now I'm going to start my brick stitch by picking up two white beads. And I will start from the second row, this one and this one. Uh, I will start from here, okay? So now guys, I have them and I will slide those down. And here guys, I will leave a tail because later I will use this tail to uh, attach my earring finding to my work. Okay, so now what I do is that I stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot, okay, and I'm making it by going once and second time through the loop I've made and I pull, okay, like this. And I want to make one more knot just to be sure that it's all tight and secure. Okay, and pull again. Okay, guys. Now, what I want to do in my next step is make those beads stay next to each other, okay? 
that is why I'm going through one of them. Then I'm going through the other one. Just like this and then through this one. Okay. And now guys, you see what I have. I have those beads stay next to each other. Okay, and from here on I will start my brick stitch. And uh, what we have for the third row, uh, we have a white, a black in my case, and a white. Okay, and I will take those first two beads together. I always take the first two of each row together. Okay, in this case I'm taking a white and a black. And what I do with this brick stitch is that I go under this thread bridge between my two beads, okay? Here is a thread bridge and I'm going through it. I'm explaining this for those of you that are not familiar with the brick stitch. Okay, then I'm going through this one that is closer to the center of my work and I will do an additional reinforcement. I will go back through this white bead and then back through this black. Okay, now I have this. And what we have here is one more white bead and you could see it here as well. Okay, and I have one white. Like this. And then I go back. And with this white bead, I also go through the thread bridge between those two beads. I mean, in the same thread bridge. Okay. Now I'm here and I'm ready to start my next row. And for my next row, I need one white, two blacks, and one white. And I always start it with two beads so a white and a black in this case and I go under this thread bridge here then what I do is additional reinforcement and I will do this reinforcement only for the few several rows and then I will stop doing it Okay, then I need one more black bead and I'm going here under the following thread bridge and I go back through the same bead that I'm attaching here. And what I do next is that I take one more white and go here like this. I'm going under the same thread bridge with the last bead. Okay. Then I'm going to flip. And then according to my scheme that you could see here, I have a row with five white beads. And I'm taking two white beads, going through the first thread bridge here. Then I go back through this one that is closer to the center of my work and I will reinforce one more time but this will be the last time that I'm reinforcing in my next rows I will stop reinforcing okay then I will add three more white beads okay one two and three okay then I'm going to flip and in my next row two whites two reds and two whites taking two Go back under this thread bridge, 
through this one and now guys I'm not going to reinforce anymore I'm going to continue adding beads according to the pattern that you see at the top corner okay this is how it works okay this row is ready and as you may notice I prefer to flip my work after every row because I'm right-handed and it's easier for me to go in this direction now I will do the next row Okay guys, now I flip and I will show you faster also the next row. And now guys you could pause on the pattern that I'm showing you here and you could continue with your work the same way following it. And I will show you also step by step what's happening with my work. Okay guys and I'm adding here the last bead. I hope you were able to do this. It's absolutely the same, just follow a pattern. Okay, so now it's time to make the fringe part. Okay, so what I'm going to add here are eight black beads. Okay, I have my eight blacks. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay. Then I'm going to take a silver, a red, a silver, a red, and a silver. Okay. This is the next sequence. Then again, I'm going to take a black three silvers and a black okay third sequence then I'm going to take a bugle bead you could put four or five red beads instead of, of a bugle a white bead a bugle bead and a white bead okay now I'm going to slide those down okay so now this is what I have and what I'm going to do next is keep this white bead here the last white bead and go through as many beads as I can in this direction okay Let's say I could go through those beads in one movement. If you can go through all of the beads in one movement, okay, pulling to make them stay closer to my work. Okay, I'm pulling here 
and then like this then guys i will go through all of the rest bits and again through this black one and i pull okay uh, i want the tension to be not too much and not less just enough to to make them stay in a nice and better shape okay so what i do next is that i go back through this white one i'm just zigzagging through the beads and what i'm going to take here are 10 beads so two beads more than what i took here plus absolutely the same sequence here okay i'm showing you this taking 10 black beads okay i have my 10 here you see i have my 10 two more than in the previous row okay i'm sliding those down and i'm taking absolutely the same sequence a silver a red a silver a red and a silver okay then a black three silvers a black okay then a red bugle and slide those down a white a silver bugle and a white okay then i go like this and here i will do absolutely the same thing I will skip this white bead here and go through all of the beads in this direction and I will go through as many beads as I can in one movement. Okay, pull, then go through all of those beads here. Okay just like this then i will repeat the same thing and again the black beads will be 12 this time and everything will be the same okay i'll pick it pick it up and i'll be back okay guys and i picked up my next row and for my next row i have two black beads more than in my previous row so i have 12 beads then a silver a red a silver a red a silver a black three silvers a black red bugle white silver bugle bugle white and what i'm going to do is go back through as many beads as i can in this direction and be careful not to skip any beads because you should go back then okay now i'm pulling and then through the last beads and here at this white one okay now i have this okay guys and before i start my next row i've noticed that my thread is almost over it's not enough for a new row and to make some knots after that uh, that is why I'm going to cut this thread by going in this direction. I will just go up and down without making any knots. And I think this will be enough to not to have any problems with this thread. I will just go, go too many times through those beads. Okay, then I go back. Okay, I think this this is enough and then I will cut my thread here okay and now I'm going to take a new thread I think half an hour span will be enough and I'll be back 
Okay guys, and now I have my new thread on my needle, about half an arm span, and I'm going to add it here to my work. So what I do is that I go here through one of those beads, I pull almost until the end of my work. Then what I do is that I make a loop between those two beads here. Then I go once through this loop I've made and I pull. Then guys, I could go through several more beads in this direction. Okay, like this. And here I will do another knot. Okay, I'm making here a loop like this. I'm going once through it and then pull, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. And now my goal is to go here. Okay, and exit here through this white bead in this direction. Okay, then I took 12 black beads in my last row. Then I'm going to take 14 black beads, this same sequence. I will attach it and I'll be back to show you the result. Okay, guys, and here is the row I have with 14 beads. Then what comes next is the row with 16 beads. And I'll do this and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here is the row where I have 16 beads and now in my next row I will make 18 black beads and the same sequence and I'll be back to show you. Okay guys, and this is the row with 18 beads and until now I have 6 rows and here I will also have 6 rows until this side of my beadwork and I will mirror this I will start with 18, 16, 14, 12, 10 and 8. Okay, I will just show you quick the steps. 18 black beads, 16 black beads, 14 black beads, 12 black beads, 10 black beads, Okay, and here is the last row with 8 black beads and the same sequence of beads in this direction. Okay, guys, so now what I want to do is go in this direction. Just go through some beads up and down. And I will do this because I want to cut this thread here. Okay, I'm going up and down. And now I will take my cutters and cut it as close as possible to my work. Okay, so now this is what I have. And now I will put my needle from this side and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your earring finding. Okay guys, and now, now my needle is at this thread, at the tail thread that I left in the beginning. Okay, so now I want to attach my earring finding and I'm taking one seed bead. Then I take my earring finding and I take another seed bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And then I will go back here through those beads in this direction. And I'm pulling. Now I'm going to reinforce this by going several times around this joint here. Okay, and when I do this, I'm going here through some beads in this direction just up and down ok 
okay and when i feel that i have been through many beats and my work is really secure what i do is that i go here at the back and cut my thread the same way i showed you before and um, if you want you could also make knots as i showed you but i think this will be enough for your earring to be strong and good okay guys so my fringe native style earring is ready okay guys so now my native american style fringe earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make absolutely free videos two times a week and you will be inspired often you could also support me by liking sharing and commenting you could check descriptions for my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials you will find there a PayPal link for donations and you will find the link to my second channel where I show fast clips of most of my videos and there you could see the whole project in just two three minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not go on my second channel check it out and if you like it subscribe okay that was all from me bye bye